we were really over the dark cabinetry. I mean, the cabinets themselves are in great shape, but we just wanted to brighten up the kitchen a bit. Hi, I'm Jeff Moore, and over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how I took these cabinets and turned them from this into this. I'm gonna share some of the products that I used and some of the processes that I used. Some worked well, some not so well. So hopefully you'll find something that will help you make your project turn out fantastic. Thank you for watching. Before I started on the kitchen project, I wanted to make sure that I was happy with the products and any process that I had before I got too far along and then later found out, oh, I'm not really digging the way that that looks and then having to redo those. Now, the kitchen was quite a project, so I wanted to experiment, and I'd suggest doing the same. Even if you just uh, have uh, just one cabinet door that you wanna use the inside of that, just as a palette to try the paint, try your paint process, and just kinda of work on your techniques a little bit. I think that's just a good place to start before you get full on into the cabinet project and uh, and see that they start to look a little differently as you're kind of changing the way that you're doing business. Now the Annie Sloan paint pure white is what we wanted to use for our upper cabinets. Uh, we're using a graphite kind of off black color for the lowers. Now the Annie Sloan paint, uh, they say that you don't need to prep or sand before you start to paint and I have used this product on a bathroom vanity and it worked out great. What I did discover is with the particular cabinets that we had that were a dark cherry, when I was applying the pure white paint right over that panel, I got a little bit of bleed through with the cherry stained. Now even though they were finished, uh, we still got a bleed through and I just wasn't happy with that look. So what I did was I used a Valdspar brand primer underneath and did two very light coats sealing and giving us a good palette on the cabinets so that I could put on the Annie Sloan bright white three coats. Uh, I applied two, lightly sanded, and then did a third coat, diluting the third coat just a little bit uh, with some water to thin it out so it gives you a nice smooth finish. I started by removing all of the cabinet doors and the door hardware. If the hardware is worn or not appropriate for the new style, this is a good time to replace it or refinish it. After removing the door hardware, we want to make sure that the cabinets and the cabinet doors are very clean. Otherwise, the paint's just not going to adhere very well. So there are a lot of different cleaning products that you could use. I found just good old fashioned dish soap and warm water as hot as you can stand it did a great job. When it comes to protecting your appliances that are surrounding your cabinetry, one of the things that I found that was pretty effective is just to take a piece of plain copy paper, maybe you can use an envelope, and place that between the cabinets and the appliance. And then just put some tape on it to hold it in place. That way the tape isn't stuck uh, between the cabinetry and the appliance and you don't have trouble getting that stuff out of there later. You also want to protect the, any wall surfaces that might be in the way so you don't get any cabinet paint on those. Okay, so now we have the second coat on the back of the cabinets uh, is completely dry, and I got some really good coverage with that. Certainly good enough for the inside. I'm gonna flip the uh, cabinet doors over, and I'm gonna write, wipe off some of this residual paint, just give it a little touch with the sanding pad, and then we're gonna get started with the front 
uh, face of the cabinet doors. Okay, so we have the final coat, third coat of the chalk paint. It's completely dry now. Um, it's nice and smooth, it looks really great. And now we need to protect it. So I am going to finish with a polyvine product called Wax Finish Varnish, and this is in dead flat. Uh, that flat look is something we were really going for. Um, I tried a couple of products, as I mentioned earlier, that gave us a little bit of a sheen or a little bit of yellowing too, so I didn't really care for those. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna use and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, our cabinet doors are now finished, completely dry, and they're ready to be installed. I'm gonna start by putting the door hardware back on. Mm -hmm. 